Hello everybody, my name is Jimmy Allison. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer and I teach online lessons one-on-one. -on -one. In this video, I'm just gonna talk about macro mapping using Ableton's effects racks. To create an effects rack, all you have to do is right click or command click on the title of the rack and click group. That will nest the device or group of devices into a rack and you'll see on the outer edge, the little brackets that the rack is in and then over here on the left, you'll see the title of the rack. To create a macro map, you just need to open up the macros, turn on map mode, and click on anything within the rack that is highlighted, and then click map. And now I'm gonna get out of map mode and show what it sounds like. First, let me reset it. You can also multi-map the same macro to other parameters, the resonance I'll map it to. But I would like to quickly modify the resonance because it does it because it's a low pass filter and I want it to behave a little bit differently. So I'll just go ahead and invert the range on the resonance and then maybe not make it so high on the on the uh, min value. Maybe a little bit less and we're good. Now I'm gonna click out of map mode and that's pretty much it for macro mapping. What you could do is rename the rack. And click save to save it. And I already have one name, so I'm not gonna save it, but then it'll be in your user library. And it'll also show up under your audio effects rack folder. Thank you for watching. My name is Jimmy Allison. I teach one-on-one -on -one lessons online and in Austin, Texas. Go ahead and check out my website, austinabletontutor.com for more information.